The more I look at District 3, the more I worry about District 3. Because at this point, we are quite far into Timberborn. We're getting droughts that last longer and longer. We need more food for everybody. We just need more of everything. And while we have a lot of food globally, we have over 9,000, which... I said that without any hint of irony, and now I really want to go, what? It's over 9,000! Because I, my mind is perpetually on the internet in, like, 2009. I don't know when the over 9,000 meme really kicked off. Was, it, wasn't, it wasn't even called a meme back in the day. That was pre, like, meme being a word that everyone threw around for every weird image macro thing in the internet. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, the point is... We have got a lot of food, but we're not really making food as efficiently as we could. And that's one of the things that I want to address today, because if we have a look at District 1, we have a lot of wheat just sitting around not being turned into flour and then not being turned into bread. Don't get me wrong. We have 3,100 bread in storage in this district alone, but we could have more and I want more because I want to start moving it out to the other districts. So what that says to me is we could probably do with more grist mills. So that's going to be thing number one that we need to do. And then thing number two is going to be addressing a lot of these storage issues. Now, I say issues. It's not that we don't have enough storage in this district. It's just that a lot of the storage that's being used is just full because it's convenient these underground warehouses neither one is full which is great but eventually they might fill up especially if we get extra grist mills which means more bread so they might end up filling a bit quicker so that's thing number two we're going to build another storage shed or two in uh in district the first and then thing number three which appropriately relates to district the third is i want to bring some water in here and speaking of water i guess it is probably worth pointing out that my experiment over here is it's going okay it's you know the area is filling up i'm not convinced that this isn't just all going to disappear as soon as a drought kicks in though we're going to keep an eye on it but i'm not convinced that that's not going to happen we'll just we'll see but that's, that's not thing the third. Thing the third is that dumping water in water pumps isn't all that efficient, as we've seen. And explosives aren't actually all that efficient either. Now, we do have some explosives. In fact, uh, yeah, we've got 19 of them. And that's great. That's 19 individual tiles that we can just blow up right now. And that's fine that's exciting even that's that's kind of cool that we have explosives but it's it's all for nothing 19 tiles of you know dirt is nothing you know if we wanted to bring you know water from here up to district three you know 19 tiles is one two three four five what is that <laughs> one two three four five uh one two three four five so that's ten uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we would read, that's what, 19 and then 20, uh, what is that, 23, 4, 5. Yeah, we'd need like, what, 50 minimum? So we'd need a lot. And that's only a single little channel that would empty out so quickly. We would need hundreds of explosives to do anything worthwhile here. And don't get me wrong. We could absolutely do that, but I have a bit of a better idea, and that is my third thing that I want to try and address today. I want to get some double floodgates, and I want to put them right there. And if I do that and I close them up, that's going to flood this entire plane, including District 3, including all of District 1. Yeah. It wouldn't be the best thing to do that without blocking off some of this space, which again is exactly what I'm going to do. We're just going to get some levees. We're going to do this, this, and this. 
and that's going to let the water flow into here. We can put some uh, water pumps up on there and it's right next to where we're storing it. That's, that's perfect as far as I'm concerned. You might be wondering about the weird little corner. That's just so I can do uh, some stairs right there. And that's, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to flood this entire space. It's an idea that I've talked about before. And it's something I'm hoping we can at least get started on before the next drought kicks in. Which, I don't know when the next drought's going to be, but it's probably going to last for a little while. So, let's get started. And I'm actually going to prioritize that before we do the grist mills and before we do the storage thing. Because District 1 is fine. It's not super efficient, but it's fine. It's working. And that's about all I need it to be doing right now. So, what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to try and do, is I'm going to try my best to get this set up and I'm I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that but I think it's going to need its own district and the way I'm looking at it is we can either build a temporary district up here and then maybe use some explosives to knock out some of this cliff so that we can uh, get down here with some some platforms and build all of this or we could try and build a small district over here, and then we'd need double platforms out this way. Either way, I think we need a district. So that's that's kind of where I'm going to be starting. So let's let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can do this. Let's get a, uh, a district center. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put it... I mean, I guess right here is fine. It'd be nice if I could just get rid of those trees, but there is is fine. It's temporary, to be fair. It's This isn't going to be a permanent district anyway so don't need to worry too much about it uh but that can be the district center uh we are probably going to want some storage here even if it is only a temporary space we'll do that uh we're probably going to want to get some wood so we'll do a lumberjack flag right there i'm gonna want an explosive out here to blow up that so we can do some stairs down and uh, that's actually probably going to be better for us because then I can just go ahead and do some platforms a bit like a bit like that. Oh, God. No, that's OK. We might need a little bit more. This might have to be a couple of double platforms there or we just use more explosives. I actually think using more explosives is probably the way to go here. So something like that. And then we'll blow that lower one up as well. So that'll be fine. That's that's kind of the initial idea. So we'll bring a path around like this, and that's all right. We can do, I mean, a little bit of housing isn't, isn't a terrible idea. We could definitely do this. And if we have a lumberjack, we could definitely build another one. So I'm very tempted to say housing and housing, and then we'll just connect those together. And as for getting into this district, I mean, that's that's going to be simple. That's going to be uh, something like this. We can go and just delete that path. We can do some stairs there. And we can't do that because what we need to do is get a district entrance, which will be right at that corner. So connect you and do a district gate. And that's fine. That's everything we need, except for some drop off points, which in the, you know, uh, they, these are storage as well. These are actually really useful because they're just free storage. So let's do... I mean, they can each hold 300 of anything. So let's do one, two, three. And we'll have each of these be food, water, and supplies. And supplies for all of this are just going to be logs and planks. So that's it's honestly not too bad to uh, only need those things. And then I guess we can also go ahead and just mark out some areas to be chopped down. So all of these trees kind of just need to go. I don't know if we'll get much for them, but they need to go regardless. And if I can get these ones down here, that'd be great too. I just kind of have a, you know, a few doubts about being able to do that. Unless I just use more explosives, which I'm starting to see the benefit of explosives. I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to see that they, they have uses in Timberborn, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, we're going to do that. Okay, 
So that's about everything. We're going to be delivering food to this place rather than growing it ourselves. So a new route will be set up and we're going to take bread up here. And then we're going to need to take water up here as well, which is a bit risky. I don't really want to send too much water this way, but it's going to be a temporary thing. And District 1, what do we got? We have got some logs. Now, those logs will most likely end up getting shipped to District 3. But I'm going to I'm gonna set this up as well. So we're going to go add a route to there. And we're going to say logs. And that'll be a hundred of each of those going to that district. And that's fine. Then I want to head over to district two. And it's got actually a decent number of planks. I mean, it's 30 ish, but I don't think this area is building too much. So we can actually go ahead and just add a new route from here. Going over to, oh wait, no, I need to, I actually need to scroll across the screen. Okay. Uh, add new route. It'll go to District the 4th, which is going to be, oh god, which one? This one, I think. Uh, and that's going to be Planks. So Planks, done. And that should give us everything we need once this is all built, which shouldn't take too long. We'll get these uh, stairs done, and then deliveries can be made. Once the deliveries are all done being made, we can migrate the population a little bit, and we can start doing things, which is very exciting and uh, preferable to not doing things. In fact, I've just remembered that we... Oh, no. Okay, we need to... What are we delivering to District 2 right now? Logs? We can cancel that. We don't need to do that anymore. Uh, we do need to move explosives to District 4 as well. So we should see all of those things go out in no time at all because it is very close. There we go. So what are you guys moving right now? You've got bread that's fine you've got water you've got logs so that's good that's that's what we want to see we want to see those things coming out uh we've got the markers for explosives there as well so we'll get that all set up there we've got the markers here as well which is totally fine and then all of this needs built as well so there's a lot to be done and uh just wanted to double check yeah floodgates or logs and planks that's fine and there's five of them so what is that 100 logs and 50 planks. That should be easy enough. We should be able to manage with that. And I mean, looking at this, what do we got? We got some bread. We've got some water. We've got some explosives and some logs. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's, let's migrate some beavers. Let's migrate. We're going to have two houses. So let's just do six. And honestly, I think that's fine. So six beavers can come out here, can do their thing, can start building, and hopefully, you know, do good things. That's that's what we're hoping for, is that they're going to do some good things. I mean, two of them are working in this uh, district center, and that's all right. We should have won in no time at all working as a lumberjack, which we... No unemployed beavers in district. Why is that? Oh, no, there we go. So you're going to start bringing down some trees... The warehouse is being put together. The explosives are being put in as well, which is slightly terrifying, but okay. That's, uh, that's all right, I guess. Although it's, it is taking them a minute. I'd, I'd kind of like that to be finished, but no, that's fine. They can all just go to sleep. All right. I actually have a good feeling about this. I'm not going to lie. If it works, I mean, don't get me wrong. This all needs to be done still, and actually... I, I want to prioritize that construction because I feel like it's kind of the most important thing out here. But if we can do this... Oh, no. There's a drought in three days. Oh, no. That's kind of the last thing that I wanted. I'm not going to lie, but whatever. Uh, oh, they can build down there. All right. Well, let's blow this up. There we go. So that's, uh, that's good. We're going to need some stairs right here. And then we're going to have to blow this up as well. So, blow you up. And uh, in doing that, we can get another set of stairs right down there. And we can get this construction going. Oh my god. If we can actually pull this off, I will be so happy. I really will. I don't think it's going to happen before the drought. I mean, it's absolutely not going to happen before the drought. Because this needs to be built. But that's that's fine. Uh, blow that up. 
and give me some more stairs. There we go. So we can get all that done. Uh, we can blow these guys up as well. And then what I wanted to do there was blow up this one. And that's going to let me put some stairs that lead down to those other trees. And that's actually going to be really good because it's going to be a really good supply of logs for this district. So that's actually a pretty big deal. It's, it's going to be a pretty big deal once this is all up and going. Also, that tree kind of needs to go. If we could... Uh, if we could prioritize that, that'd be great. I think it's being chopped down. I think I don't know if someone... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that's gone. The explosives are done. We'll blow them up. And stairs right down there. And also a bit of path and a bit of path. Okay. So this is good. This is actually very good. I'm 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 pleased about this. I'm really pleased about this. We got some stairs going. We can we can we can do some things. We can do some good here, I like to think. So hopefully it works out. We're kind of just gonna leave them to it for now. They should have enough food. They've got the work to do. We've got a lot of water around here. This space is it's actually looking pretty good here as well. But I just have this horrible sinking feeling that it's just, it's going to dry up as soon as the drought kicks in. But, you know, it's going to be a matter of just waiting and seeing, I guess. Uh, also, District 4, does it, it does have water. It just doesn't have water in, in tanks, I guess. So maybe we do, I don't know, maybe we do a, a water tank. Maybe. I don't know if we, I don't know if we need, I really don't know if we need a bunch of water tanks. It probably wouldn't hurt, though to have I mean it is going to take up logs and we kind of need those for construction but it probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to say maybe you know one there and one there and then maybe maybe a little bit of additional housing I don't I really don't know if I want extra housing or not but I feel like it's the right thing to do just so the district has like a little bit of growth or something so something like that's fine uh if we wanted to we could absolutely decorate this space as well. We'd need planks and logs to do this. But we could. We absolutely could. And it might make the place just look a little nicer, to be completely honest. I just... <laughs> it's not the point. It's not why this district's here. This district is supposed to be temporary. I'm getting carried away right now. I need to not do that. I need to not get carried away. And what I can actually do as well is get another lumberjack right there. And they'll have a pretty good run down into uh, into that forest, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's going to be a great source of wood for District 4, which is exactly what we want it to be. So that's good. That's that's going to make progress in, uh, in time. Uh, we got this being built as well, which is going to take forever, but that's okay. District 3, 182 water, 300 food... Man, I, I hope this, I hope this place works. That's about all I can say is I hope it doesn't just die horribly in, in a drought, but it's, there's nothing I can do at this point. We only have like a day and a half until the drought kicks in. So I'm going to come back around and I'm going to focus on district one and I'm going to do something a little bit weird given that my my focus on this space is going to be trying to i guess make production better down here i'm going to go in and i'm going to mark all of this uh, wheat for demolition and i'm going to let's see here delete all of these buildings in fact i'm even going to get rid of the windmills for now Yes, I'm going to need to rebuild all of this, but I think that's fine. I think. Yeah, that's that's fine. All of it's gone. Every bit of it. Uh, we are going to need to put some paths back in there, though, just to make sure that the beavers have access to get rid of everything. But, uh, yeah, everything's just gone. I'm going to just turn this into its own little tiny kind of self-contained production uh, district. I actually have an idea in mind for what I want this to look like, and I think it's going to be really cool. I just need the area to be cleared first. And then looking over here, this is 
this is progress. Like, we actually have progress here. And they have a good amount of water. Well, they have a hundred, which isn't necessarily going to be enough to keep them going, but that's whatever. Uh, let's have a little look here at the water thing. So the limit is actually a hundred on this. Let's increase that to... I don't know how much they consume per day. Let's say like 500, I guess. And then that would mean we need more tanks, which... I don't know if I want to build more of those. It's supposed to be a temporary district, damn it. But I also don't want them dying before they've done what I want them to do. So I guess, yeah, we'll do that. I could also... Oh, I don't want to bring power out here. I was about to say we could, if we wanted to get like a little lumber mill going and start making our own planks but i'm not i'm i'm not setting up power out there it's not happening absolutely not happening we're just it's a temporary district we'll deliver the planks if and when we have them and not one second before okay so now that this space is clear let's have a little bit of fun redesigning it so this whole area is going to be built around grist mills so i want one i want two and three and even though the entrance is on the other side, I'm going to do this so that it's kind of almost symmetrical-ish. Yes, this one's a little bit off at the bottom, but that's, that's fine. Well, I say that's fine. I could actually get rid of it and we could do a little warehouse down there. Well, we could even do a large warehouse down there and it would not fit too badly actually looking at it. So... Let's do that. Actually, no, I'm going to stick with the small warehouse. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do a small one. And then I guess this is going to be one more grist mill, which is fine. I also want to prioritize. The I'm going to keep it paused while I'm doing this because I don't want them trying to build all of them at the same time. Uh, I want a little path that goes in there and kind of around like this and also like this. And then I'm going to do some platforms that kind of come around the back of all of this and we can go straight across there as well so it's going to act as like a little bridge too which is i think kind of cool so we'll bring that the whole way around we'll bring that across and then in the middle right here i want to do something kind of interesting and there's a couple of ways i'm looking at this whole space the first way i'm looking at it would be a platform there and then a large warehouse on top right there and then obviously a little staircase in the middle but i'm also looking at it and i'm wondering if i could maybe do it a different way i don't think i can i think that's fine to be completely honest i do think it'd be more interesting if the warehouse was down here though I just, I, I don't, mm, I don't want to go too crazy and sort of unnecessary with construction, but we could arguably go one, two, three. We can have the stairs sort of the other way around and then this warehouse kind of facing in, which I think is, is, is pretty cool. And I, I mean, I think it would work. I think it would be fine. It's just potentially a little bit unnecessary when we can just do this and save on those extra materials. And I think that's kind of what we're going to have to do. I I want to be a little conscious of the amount of materials that we're using, and this is going to you know, save on a few of those. I say that as I'm building an unnecessary bridge, but you get the idea. And then for all of along here, what I'm thinking we do is I do want to put some windmills back in here. We could try and get the large ones going but they need 30 paper they need so many planks i feel like the small ones are so much easier the gears as well i mean it's i don't i don't see it happening so in fact that makes me question how the hell am i going to build them over here i've got no idea i really i have no idea how we're going to manage that but uh we'll figure it out and i guess what we'll do is go one two three i kind of want to avoid there i'm not gonna lie so let's do this and this and i'm avoiding there so i can just go straight through the path and i think that's fine i think that'll that'll kind of work out uh although i'm looking at it and realizing i do need to bring power down here so 
what's the best way going to be to do that? I guess we go like this. I guess we take out some sections of path there, there, and right about there. We can go straight through there. And basically, there are a bunch of these junctions that need to go in. So we're going to need one right there, 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 here, and a corner right at the end. We're going to need to go sort of up over the road with a bunch of straight sections in the middle. And then I guess what we do is we can stay elevated going through the middle here and just bring everything around. And we don't need to connect it on both sides, but it's going to look so much better if we do. So, little bit of unnecessary construction right here, but I think it's going to look kind of cool. So, I think that's kind of worth it. Even though my other idea might have looked cool as well, and apparently it wasn't worth it. It's fine. This works. This, this looks the way I want it to look, I guess. Although, I'm looking at it, and I'm realizing... I could uh, potentially, eh, potentially do a thing. I wonder if I was to do some platforms here, I could absolutely. Okay, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna like the look of this, but it's gonna be good for storage. So if I do that, and the staircase would need to be sideways. That's, that's kind of the thing with this. So it'd be something like, uh, oh no, that wouldn't work. Oh man. Okay. Well, never mind that, I guess. Damn. That, that would have been kind of cool if I could, if I could pull that off, but no, I'd need, God, how would I do that? Well, actually, in saying, no, this is possible because there's no need for the path on the, on that side there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting way too carried away. Way too carried away. Let's just uh, delete all of this. Let's just put the stairs back in. And that's fine. And then in terms of priorities, we kind of need to do this in a certain way. So all of the power needs to be prioritized. Uh, all of this needs to be prioritized. These guys need to be prioritized. And then the rest of it is going to be secondary. So the rest of it's just going to be like that. So this whole bit first, this whole bit second. That's the way I want it built. It's going to take a while. It's a lot of materials, but it's a self-contained uh, production area for flour. And then that can all be shipped out to the bakeries at the other side of town. And that's fine. And just like that, the drought has started, which means we actually need to go around and turn off so many buildings. So this needs to go right here. And then all of these guys need to be switched off as well. So we're not dumping water during a drought. All of these pumps need to be turned off. So we're not taking it out of the lake. So that District 2 doesn't suffer. And then we kind of just need to hope for the best. That's that's basically where we're at. District 1 has 1,500 water. District 2 has less than 1,000. That's, for an eight-day drought, that's actually kind of worrying. I've got to be honest. I don't have a good feeling about this i i i've i've actually got a bad feeling about this i'm not 100 percent sure that we're going to be okay uh i will say that i really don't want to see this space just empty out so i'm gonna try this and i don't even know if the water i don't think the water is even high enough to flow out of there right now which is a little bit depressing. I've got to be, got to be honest with you. A little bit depressing that the water is not even high enough to flow out of there. I think this idea is, I think it's a failure to be, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it's been successful at all. Uh, so that's, that's great. That's, that's just what you want. You know, that's, that's absolutely fantastic that my, my grand idea, my grand design, if you will, has, has completely, completely failed. Kevin McLeod's about to show up and just give me a bunch of lip about how my grand design has completely backfired and not worked at all, which is just great, you know, absolutely great. A Channel 4 camera crew is about to, you know, bang into my office and be like, hey, give us a, this is a reference that if you don't watch grand designs, you're not going, I mean, even if you do, you're probably not gonna, look, I'm waffling. I'm slightly, 
I'm slightly upset that my whole big idea here hasn't worked out. The point is, I haven't watched Grand Designs in at least three months, and I kind of really want to get back to watching Grand Designs. The problem is, every time I do, I really want to play The Sims, and I'm really bad at The Sims. You know, I really hate being right, but I'm right, and I was right. This whole area has dried up again, so my entire grand plan has been for nothing, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw a tantrum. I'm just, I'm deleting everything that I built. Not everything that I built, but I'm deleting all of the water pump dump things. The water outlets, I guess you could call them. They, I might as well, right? There's, there's no need for them. And that's, that's really frustrating. I'm, I'm genuinely a little, a little bit annoyed. It's just, it's frustrating. I was really hoping that would work really really hoping that would work but it didn't and that's fine i just need to come up with a better idea i guess and see if that ends up working out see if we can maybe do something with uh you know maybe this space right maybe a smaller water dumping area at some point is is gonna be better i just i am i'm a little little annoyed uh the good news is this is almost halfway done which is lovely it's apparently too far from builders, though, which is something. So do I need this? Is that now... It's still too far from builders. Build more paths or a new district. What? Is that... Is it actually too far from builders? So we have 100 logs in this district. Can't get required materials. Does this have to be built first? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe this needs to... I hope that's the case. I hope we don't actually have an issue with with builders here because if we do that's that's bad that's that's oh man i i hope we don't run into issues getting this built as well i want something to work god damn it I, I want something to like actually you know turn out well at this point i'm i'm very tempted to actually set up some uh some power here I mean, some logs and some planks. I mean, the thing is, I need planks for the this as well, so... Well... I guess I don't need planks for a power wheel. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're building a, uh, we're building a lumber mill. We need it. We, we need a lumber mill. It's that simple. We absolutely need a lumber mill. So, we'll do that. And then a power wheel gives us 50 uh, horsepower, which I think is enough for the lumber mill. So that's, that's how we're going to do this. That's how this thing's going to run. Uh, so let's make sure that those get built nice and quickly. We'll prioritize that. And this should get us into a spot where we can actually build this down here. Hopefully. This thing's also very close to being done, which is absolutely fantastic. This thing is also very close to being done, which is also absolutely fantastic. If we can get two more logs in there, that is... And there we go. Are we building it? We're not. Why are we not building it? Hello? Can someone actually construct this thing? Is that is that not a thing we're doing? There we go. So you're building it. Okay. So no one's working there right now. Hopefully the game... For, there we go. So someone's working there. This is now running and producing planks. It's at 100% efficiency. So that's that's good, right? That should now... It's getting taken into storage, and then it's going down here. It's going into construction. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So this place is now making its own planks. I didn't really want to set up that district for production, but I've had to, and that's okay. And oh my god, we're not even halfway through this, this drought, and the river's gone. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's... <laughs> oh boy. Okay. How is District 1 doing with water? really bad oh no <laughs> oh no it's because we're delivering so much of it everywhere <laughs> oh no district 2 is doing okay district 3 how many people are out here 17 i really i need to do the math and figure out how much water each beaver consumes per day because if i do that then i can actually figure out how much we actually need 
because I, I feel like each beaver drinks once per day. So if we extrapolate 17, extrapolate's not the right word. If we round 17 up to 20, just for argument's sake and easier math, that means we have 10 days worth of water in District uh, 3. And then District 4, if we say it's got 10, that means we got 40 days worth of water. If they only drink once, District 1 has 179 beavers. If we round that up to 200, that's four days worth of water. So we might actually be just okay. And we are still grabbing some water from over here. So we might, we might be just about okay. Uh, I am going to be a little bit cheeky though. And I don't know, hold on actually, I don't know if that is a good idea. Let me just rotate around a little bit. Uh, is the water higher here or higher here? I think it's actually higher here, which means, oh God. Oh no. <laughs> uh, you know what I've just realized as well? That, that math that I'm doing right there doesn't account for the fact that we're delivering water to this district from District 1 and this one from District 1 as well. So we need to... Can I... Hmm... Okay, I'll tell you what. Distribution limits, maximum of 100. So water shouldn't be getting delivered there. And then for this guy, water is 500. That can come right down to like 200. And that should be fine. So that should stop those deliveries. And that should mean that we're hopefully going to be okay. I, I'm not 100% on that. I'm, I'm not... I, I'm not saying that with a great deal of confidence, but we're going to hopefully be okay. We're going to hopefully get this built. I've also decided to change out the levees over here. I forgot to mention that. I figured this would be cheaper. Even though we had a couple built, this is just, this will get built so much quicker. So this is absolutely going to be worth it. So my thinking is if everything works out, we'll have this done and this done in time for the water coming back which means we flood this entire plain, which in its own right isn't an amazing thing to do, but it does mean that District 3 can have its own source of water, which I think is actually going to be a really, really good thing. Hopefully. That's that's my plan. That's, that's, that's ideal world circumstances right there. So hopefully that works out. And this, oh man, this is, this is coming together as well. That's good. That's, that makes me happy. I, <laughs> I really hope this works. I really do. If it doesn't, if this is another plan that just horribly backfires, I'm going to be so upset.